hey, uh, so, um, I brought something today that I thought, I, uh, I thought you would like, so, I mean, maybe, uh, you prob no, you probably wouldn't like it, it's fine, no, that's, that's whatever. No, come on, sh sh huh? show us what you got. What? You do want to see it? Yeah, Okay, see it. uh, okay, well, it's, it's tech news, uh. <laughs> Part of what contributes to the increase in performance we see with each generation of processors is the size of the manufacturing process. We've gotten the silicon process down to 10 nanometers, but below that point, processors start to generate too much heat. IBM thinks they've got a solution. The company is reporting a breakthrough in developing carbon nanotube transistors. Welding a metal called molybdenum to the ends of microscopic carbon nanotubes can keep the resistance low enough to prevent crazy amounts of heat building up. As you could probably guess, the whole thing is pretty complicated, so check out the source link in the description, but suffice to say, I'm pretty stoked for carbon nanotube transistors! Speaking of ridiculous technology, I mean, I didn't say that specifically, but that is what we were talking about. Ah, look, a 17-inch 8K display, hashtag unnecessary. Japan Display has announced a 17.3-inch 7680 by 4320 display that's also IPS and 120 hertz. Pretty impressive, although the pixel density is 510 PPI, which is actually less than the 806 PPI of the 4K screen in the Sony Xperia Z5. So while it is impressive, it's not the most impressive, so sorry, you're... You're not getting my most impressive ribbon. Also, there's not really any 8K content out right now. Or GPUs that could handle that. Hashtag unnecessary. Hashtag indubitably. And while early reports suggested AMD might get first pick at second gen high bandwidth memory, a new rumor from an inside source says the company is having trouble getting enough and may launch their next GPU series with first gen HBM. While AMD was first to market with the 3D memory, it looks like Nvidia's Pascal GPUs may steal their thunder. Again, just a rumor, so don't take this as fact, but definitely tell all your friends about it as if it is. Life lessons. Um... Quick bits? Batman Arkham Knight publisher Warner Bros. Interactive have announced that the PC version of the game, which was removed from stores due to numerous glitches and bugs, will re-release at the end of October. Should you still wait until it's on a Steam sale? Yes. Don't encourage them. The makers of the Humble Bundle, which donates some of its proceeds to charity, have announced Humble Monthly, a $12 a month subscription that gets you curated games every month. Skype's translator feature is now rolling out to all desktop users. It supports video translation in English, French, German, Italian, Mandarin, and Spanish, with more supported via text chat. Hackers are now a veritable plague, with 2 million Patreon users and 5 million T-Mobile users getting their data hacked recently. Vodafone, an ISP in the UK, launched Call Plus, which lets users send photos, videos, and maps during a regular call, and you can even add a note that lets the other person know why you're calling. Oh, perfect! Now I can be even more confident that I don't want to pick up that call. <laughs> Photos have leaked of Dell's XPS 12, a convertible laptop similar to Asus's Transformer books, and Square Enix has cancelled their disastrous Augment Your Pre-Order campaign. Good call there, guys. We need to spread awareness about the dangers of pre-ordering. Batman Arkham Knight could happen to you. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. <sighs> Guys, I have a confession to make. My name isn't actually Keys. It's... It's John Cena! Now, you know what the best part about John Cena is? His clean-shaven face. I've actually stopped shaving with razors pretty much because of the hassle and cost of buying new ones. I've been using an electric trimmer. Psh, lame. Apparently, Harry's thought the same thing. They're a pretty awesome company started by two awesome guys who want to make the whole shaving experience more awesome. For 15 bucks, they ship a beautiful package with a Harry's razor, two extra blades, and either hydrating foam gel or moisturizing shave cream straight to your door. But click on the link below to go to harrys.com and enter promo code NCIX at checkout to get five bucks off your first order. These guys bought a razor factory in Germany that's been making high quality blades for almost a century so they could sell top-notch handles and blades for way less than the bigger guys' razors. They're available in the US and Canada, plus shipping is free in the States. Well, Keys, how did the shave feel? It felt like... 
freedom. So guys, click on the link below to go to harrys.com, enter promo code NCIX and get five bucks off. I, I highly recommend it. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click over here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media by directing your vision balls to this section. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go see if I can pass for a 12-year-old to get the kid's meal from McDonald's. What's that? You don't need to be a kid to order the kid's meal? That kind of ruins the fun. Oh well.